Hey guys, today we're going to take you on a sneak peek at the best 4K monitors in the market. So if you're planning to buy one, then you're in the right place. Please do check out the description below to see all the featured products and their buy links. Let's get started. BenQ SW321C. This super cool BenQ SW321C is a solidly built piece of equipment. The stand is very heavy and well constructed. I love the handle built into the stand. The panel itself is the usual plastic, but it's high quality in appearance and feel. The performance of the panel overall is excellent. I'm getting verified 10-bit workflow in Photoshop through the NVI DIA Quadro P2000. I love the puck and now can't live without it. Switching color spaces with the push of a button near the keyboard is a lovely innovation. The puck itself is a pretty high quality build. The buttons feel good and the display responds well. Monitor menus are pretty friendly compared to the Dells. This panel blows away my Dell U271 8Q 27 inch 4K monitor. The SW321C's combination of 32 inch display and 4K UHD resolution is the sweet spot for imaging editing, giving lots of well-defined detailing. Also, a calibrated monitor is a vital ingredient for ensuring your prints look like the image you see on screen, and the SW321C has all the key elements for it, including paper color sync. Dell S3221QS. The all-new Dell S3221QS is one of the best 4K monitors you'll find on the market. This fantastic monitor replaced my 24-inch UltraSharp, which is considered a step up in image quality, but I don't see a difference. At 60 Hz refresh rate, it's not the best for hardcore gamers, but it's a 4K monitor, so I'm not sure what's out there at a higher refresh rate for an affordable price. You can adjust the tilt on two axes and the height, but there's no rotation into portrait orientation. You get all the modern ports you need, 3.0 USB, HDMI, DisplayPort. The monitor comes with an HDMI cable, helps keep everything in your field of view with a screen this big up close. Asus Tough Gaming VG289Q. I'm pretty pleased with this IPS monitor's ability to display colors when it comes to Asus Tough Gaming. At this price range, it's rare to see 90% DCI P3 color space, which is well beyond the sRGB color space on most other monitors. For those who think I'm speaking alien, DCI P3 is what you see in the movie theaters right now, and it's supported in most newer phones and tablets. I can see colors and details in areas that the Dell shows as black. I used the color sampler tool in Photoshop and verified that the color in this shadow area is indeed not supposed to be black. In mid-tones, colors on the Asus is also more vivid without being oversaturated. The sRGB mode has one flaw, which is its brightness can't be adjusted. It's a bit too bright for the ambient light in my room. Movies are eye candy as well. Text looks sharp due to 4K pixel density. LG 24MD4KL-B. The LG Ultrafine 4K display line of Mac OS compatible monitors has been doing the rounds for a while now. This latest model is a 4K Ultra HD 60 Hz 23.7 inch IPS monitor, which promises excellent brightness and complete coverage of the DCI P3 spectrum out of the box. You get two Type-C USB ports with a Thunderbolt 3 on the LG Ultrafine 4K display in terms of connections. This means that any Mac device, whether it's a MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, or a Mac Mini, will be able to connect to the LG Ultrafine 4K display and draw 85 watts of power through the Thunderbolt 3 ports. This is especially useful for MacBook Pro owners who usually have to surrender one of their precious USB-C ports for charging purposes. The LG Ultrafine 4K display will also let you daisy chain another monitor via one of the Thunderbolt ports. So if you need some extra 4K acreage for your creative projects, you can have that too. BenQ PD2700U. The BenQ PD2700U is a reasonably priced 4K professional monitor 
that aims to provide excellent image quality for editors and creators without breaking their bank. Its features are set in no way limited or meant for simple home and office use. The BenQ promises exceptional imaging performance for its range. It keeps the PD line's simplified design, which encompasses solid build quality and sleekness. The monitor is finished in matte black with a nice texture that helps to prevent smudges and dust from building up. The stand assembly has some good weight to it thanks to metal inserts, which provide stability and durability. The screen is perfectly crisp and sharp thanks to the tighter pixel pitch of 4K screens, squeezed into a 27-inch diagonal. This characteristic helps productivity. The PD2700U is a superb monitor if you consider its pricing and capabilities as a professional solution for creators and designers. Asus Rogue Strix XG438Q. The Rogue Strix XG438Q is the first that truly feels like a really big gaming monitor rather than a TV that has found its way onto your desk. At 43 inches, this 3840 by 2160 pixel 4K HDR monitor hits a sweet spot between the sizes that most gamers buy their monitors in today. The 4K resolution, 120Hz refresh rate, AMD FreeSync 2 HDR technology with dual 10 watt speakers and an LED light, it is truly a deal, which is found in Amazon for around $879. Asus picks up some pretty darn good connectivity with a Rogue Strix XG4 38Q as the display packs one display port 1.4 and three HDMI 2.0 ports so you can plug a bunch of devices into it. Okay, that's all for today, guys. Hope you liked the video. Please tell us which products you would like us to review next in the comment section and check the description box for all the buy links.